Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP top projects. And in this video, we'll learn SAP object oriented programming top projects. So we have curated a list of top 10 projects that you can see on left side. And we'll start with one of them. So while you are going through SAP custom development or you are doing SAP core ABAP development, so you might have came across right uh, SC24 object creation, right? So these projects are something that is in demand in the market. So if you develop SAP O data, if you develop SAP burdens, everything is object oriented programming. So if you are object oriented programmer, there are a few projects that you must look in, that you must explore. Then only you can be more competent in the market. So the very first project in our list is custom object oriented ABAP classes. So we have also written, written an article for you where you can find all these projects that we are going to discuss in this video. The link of the article is added in the description of the video. So coming back to the, the video where uh, we were focusing upon custom object oriented ABAP classes. So developers can create custom ABAP classes using object oriented programming. And these classes can be used to encapsulate business logic and perform complex operations. Custom classes can be designed to meet specific business needs and can be reused across multiple applications. In case you are using object oriented programming within your ABAP report, there the classes and the objects are local that you can develop in SC38. But in case you are planning for global classes, then you can use transaction SC24. So the next uh, development is custom ABAP object development. So developer can use ABAP objects to create custom SAP applications. So these ABAP objects provide a modern modular and maintainable approach to application development. Developers can use ABAP objects to encapsulate business logic and user design and then they can be used in a regular ways or multiple ways in different coding concepts like an object can be called from a report an object can be called from an OData an object can be called from a CDES perspective so all these functions and modules can call an object and these objects can be reused in as per demand. So the next development that uh, we want you to focus upon is ABAP Web Dyn Pro development. So developers can create custom web based application using ABAP objects and Web Dyn Pro technology. Although Web Dyn Pro is a uh, old school way technology nowadays people are not using it anymore. But if you are working in a big organization that is still using Web Dyn Pro then you must explore this perspective also and this can provide a modern and intuitive user interface for SAP applications. So certainly it is replaced by SAP UI5. So the next one is about body and enhancement, right? So whenever we discuss regarding the enhancements that uh, is required in SAP standard reports, there we come with a few options, right? Where customer exit is there, user exit is there, and something called body that is business add-ins. So business add-ins and enhancements are used to add custom functionality to SAP applications. And these enhancements can be used to modify existing SAP functionality. It can be used to add new features and improve performance. The next one is ABAP integration with non-SAP systems. So developers can use SAP ABAP objects to integrate SAP systems with non-SAP systems. This can include integration with cloud services, mobile apps and other third party systems. So there is a concept called RFC via which you can, you know, interact between uh, systems that are not uh, part of your current environment, systems that are part of, you know, third party applications. And uh, like, like this, uh, there are multiple applications of uh, SAP ABAP objects. The next one is SAP ABAP batch processing so developers can use a BAP to perform batch processing operations this can include batch data processing batch printing and other type of batch operations even the batch operations that we do in sap o data is part of sap object oriented programming next one is a BAP authorization and security so developers can use a BAP to 
enforce authorization and security rules when accessing SCP data. So there are multiple authorization objects that can be directly used anywhere you want in reports, right? You might have already used them. So those are created using SAP ABAP object oriented programming. The next one in our list is SAP ABAP analytical and reporting. So developers can use ABAP to extract data from SAP system. So you can write simple queries in SQL and those queries can be written in ABAP report. But in case you want to export it or you want to reuse it in a different ways using the concept of object oriented programming where you use abstraction interface those concepts can be applied and used for analytics and reporting so this will help business to gain insights into operations and make data driven decisions the next one is ABAP performance optimization so you might have developed a lot of reports you might have also done object oriented coding but now there is demand of performance optimization you have to make your classes and objects faster you have to make the reusability uh, effective so in that case you should be exploring these types of projects where you improve the performance of your ABAP classes and the last one is ABAP service versioning so you might have created a lot of object oriented build uh, modules but in case you are not using versioning services then you will face a lot of issues in case some uh, dis decisions are required where you need to you know import export your tr or you have to go back to an older version so in, in these scenarios you need to have an idea of uh, sap ABAP service versioning so yeah these were the projects for sap object oriented programming if you have more projects in your mind you can just comment them down and we'll meet again thank you